the Penang State Government will assist owners of properties affected by Thursday's freak storm at no cost to them. Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng says contractors would be appointed immediately as it is an emergency situation. To ensure public safety, he adds all relevant state departments have been instructed to give their full assistance to JKP Sindran Berhad, which owns Menara Amno Building. During Thursday's thunderstorm, a lightning arrestor was ripped off from the top of the 21-storey building. It caused a massive jam and falling concrete debris fell on a lorry that was passing by, killing the lorry conductor, Indian National Jahe Hussein Sulaiman. JKP Chief Executive Officer Azmi Arifin says the firm had rented a crane to remove the beam, which is still hanging on the building. He says the clean-up operations would start as soon as the beam is removed. The families of Jahe Hussein and Penang Water Supply Corporation worker Wong Zi Chow was at the Penang Hospital mortuary to clean their bodies. There would be no celebration for the Wong family this Sunday and Monday, who had big plans to celebrate Father's Day as well as Zer Chow's birthday, which falls on the next day. Zer Chow died on the spot in the incident near his office in Rifle Range. Jahe Hussein's younger brother, Peru Zehan, says Jahe would have escaped death if not for the overtime work. He says Jahe Hussein had been working in Penang since two years ago to support his wife and two daughters who live in India.